Hello everyone, welcome to DevTermin. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to implement SAS and Tailwind in Laravel application. As you see over here, the new Laravel application come with Veed. Okay, let's go to Veed official website and see how to implement SCSS. Okay, go to Veed and click on over here and click on get start and then go to feature and you click here CSS and you scroll down a little bit you will see CSS preprocessor this is how you can implement SCSS in Laravel okay just copy this command if you want to read it just read it and try to understand it the next step go back here and open the terminal here make sure you are in the folder of Laravel application okay paste the command over here hit enter and the next step, I recommend you go to resources folder and right click and then new folder. We are going to create a folder to store SCSS over here. Type SCSS. Let's create our first SCSS files. New files and then name is app SCSS. Okay, you get files over here. Then you go to feedconfig.js. You have to include app scss inside here okay let's copy this path and put it over here and then we change this one form css folder to scss and this one app dot scss so these files refer to these files that we just created okay the next step i want you to run npm install and then the next step, we are going to view and then go to welcome.blade.php. This is the default uh, code from Laravel application. So I'm going to remove them. Here, yeah, I can remove them. I can remove the class over here and remove uh, the styles over here. This is uh, Tailwind styles. We will install it later so we can remove it out of here. So the next step, we have to include a bit over here. Type add bit and then put the array over here inside here. This tells that we want to include these files into our HTML. Okay, the next step, let's create div and let's create h1 and hello scls and tailwind in laravel okay i can put class over here container so if i go here and i put container background color blue and over here i put h1 and then i put color yellow Okay, we are going to test our SCSS files. So uh, I don't care about the style, the color. Okay, this one, this one is H1. The next step, run npm run dev. You have to run npm run dev every time you change SCSS in your application. Uh, we are going to create new terminal over here and then run uh, php artisan serve to start our Laravel application. So click control click over here to open web browser. See, you will see SCSS work right now. Okay, the next step, we are going to install Tailwind CSS. Okay, uh, let's go to Tailwind official website. Okay, tailwindcss.com. Let's click on get started and then go to framework guys and then go to Laravel over here. Uh, we are going to start from here. Step two, copy this command. And in node over here, we are going to stop npm run dev over here by press control C and then paste the command over here. Uh, let's go back to the Tailwind website and copy this command and paste it over here. You will see two files are created. First one is postcs.config.js, second one is tailwind.configs.js. The next step, let's go back to the official website 
and copy this uh, code content copy it and put it over here save and the next step you have to include uh, this tailwind directive into app.css copy it in this step you can choose to apply it over here or you can just put it directly in app.scs over here just paste it over here okay and you have to run npm run dev okay npm run dev uh, let's use some tailwind classes in uh, welcome.blade.php okay i can create another class h2 sample text okay over here i can put tailwind classes class text 3xl and then i can put bg red 100 save it and let's take a look on our web application see you will see tailwind classes are working right now okay let me tell you one more thing for example if you want to create a files for scls you can create a files over here for example you can put like sample.scls and you can include these files to these files by using add juice and then single code and put the pass of sample files something like this okay and over here for example if you put dot code uh, background color red okay and if you go to welcome.blade.php and you create div and code as cs okay and over here you can put class and put code over here and if you go back to the website you will see the red is applied to code.cs let's try one more thing about tailwind for example if you wanna put something like add layer base and you want to change the color of s2 and then you call uh, add apply over here i will apply bg tl 100 and then text 3xl okay okay let's remove h2 classes over here and if you go back here you will see uh, h2 tag has been applied to tl color so the tl color is the background color of h2 tag all right this is all about this video if you like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe thank you so much for watching